Canadian patients are now part of a human clinical trial of an experimental potential treatment for COVID-19. It involves giving antibody-rich blood plasma from people who have recovered to patients who are still infected. Heather Urich's West explains the theory and the trial. As Canada's hospitals brace for the coming wave of new coronavirus patients, those who have already survived COVID-19 will soon be called upon to help. We're reaching out to public health to actually get lists of patients who they have defined as recovered from COVID-19, and we will be inviting those, those people to participate as, as plasma donors. People like Karen Shoemaker. The 74-year-old spent several days in hospital last month, but she's now out of isolation and doing much better. Researchers believe her blood is now filled with antibodies that know exactly how to attack and stop the virus that causes COVID-19. You can't say you were fortunate to have it, but we're fortunate that we healed. And um, if we've got some antibodies that can somehow be um, checked to see if they can prevent other people from getting it or even help people who currently have it, why wouldn't you share? Using donated blood as a therapy is not a new idea. Convalescent plasma has been used for more than 100 years, with varying amounts of success. The data that we've got to go on is, is really, really soft right now. It's very hard to say if this actually works. There's good biological rationale to think that it might, but we just don't know. It's why a team of researchers from the universities of Montreal, Toronto and McMaster are racing to set up a major Canadian clinical trial, partnering with Canadian Blood Services and Hema Quebec to collect donations from 1,000 COVID-19 survivors. There are so many moving parts. We need to um, ensure that we have a supply of this product from eligible donors. At the same time, we want this to happen quickly because the peak of demand for patients who are going to be in hospital with acute COVID infection is going to happen in the next few weeks. Shoemaker says she's willing to help at any time, hopeful that whatever is now in her blood could be enough to save lives. Heather Urex West, Global News, Calgary.